What's up guys, today I'll be reviewing Black Adam starring Dwayne Johnson as Black Adam. So I think this movie was like 15 years in the making. Because around that time, that was when Dwayne Johnson announced he was Black Adam. Or the first time I heard he was playing Black Adam was around, I think 2014 was when it was announced. But I guess it was announced earlier, I guess. Uh, I'm not really sure, but uh, the movie's been in development for a long time. And finally in 2022, it's finally here. So, yeah. And this was pretty much a passion project for Dwayne Johnson. And he's always hyped it up as saying, the hierarchy of the DC Universe is about to change. And with what this movie has, I think, especially in the mid credit scene, I'm... This is a step in the right direction. I'm excited to see where DC goes with this. Uh, this made me realize how much control that Dwayne Johnson actually has. And so, this is insane. Now, let me let me go on and talk about the movie. Um, I've seen a lot of the reviews, and a lot of them seem pretty bad. And usually I don't let reviews like affect my um, thoughts going into the movie. I didn't really think anything of it. And yeah, I thought... The critics were way too harsh on this movie. I don't think it's as bad as what they're saying. Like, it's a good time. Like, obviously, it's not the best of DC. Like, this isn't going to be, like, the most groundbreaking DC movie of all time. But it, it is what you expect. A lot of people just want to see a movie with Dwayne Johnson as a superhero. And that's essentially what you get with this movie. Like, the action is nonstop. Really good action, by the way. Uh, there were some scenes that I'm surprised that got in the movie. Because apparently this movie, like, got submitted to the MPAA, I think, like, four different times. And they would come back rated R until, one, they had to, like, cut some things out for to get it to PG-13. And, yeah, there was some stuff that they kept. Like, it was, it was close. Like, there were some pretty dark moments in this. And one thing I was really excited about this movie was they were going to bring the Justice Society into this. Um, well, the biggest standout for me was probably uh, Pierce Brosnan. As Dr. Fate, I freaking love Dr. Fate. He's one of my favorite characters in DC. And it was great finally seeing him in live action played by the great Pierce Brosnan. And another standout to me actually was uh, Aldous Hodge as Hawkman. I was very surprised by him. Uh, from from the trailers, it seemed like he was, I don't know, kind of like a person that was like, heroes don't kill people. I mean, that that is kind of what he is in the movie. But like he, he does a better job in the movie than what I saw in the trailer. And he, he actually did a pretty good job. So, yeah, I'm, I'm excited to see what Aldous Hodge does in the future because this is one of the first stuff that I've seen him in. I think he was in uh, Straight Outta Compton. I think he played MC Ren, so I take that back. But, yeah, I'm excited to see where his career goes. Uh, Noah Centineo is also in this movie. He plays uh, Adam Smasher. He was kind of just there. I don't know. He he was mainly the comic relief in the in the movie. Uh, there was there was this really cool twist that um, with his uncle in the movie. I'm not gonna say what it is, but it was a pretty cool twist there. Once you see the movie, you'll you'll know what I'm talking about uh, with his uncle. I I didn't really expect that, so that was cool to see. But other than that, Noah Centineo, he was kind of just there. Like he didn't really do much. Uh, he was just kind of the comic relief, like I said. Um, his mask is very similar to Deadpool. I feel like that's a lot of people are going to get out of that. His mask, or his costume looks similar to Deadpool. The mask in particular. But, yeah. So, Black Adam's character, his backstory, he's from Kondok, which is like, during, uh, I think 1500 BC. I think that's what it said in the movie. And so, in Kondok, he did not speak English in that world, or that era. And so when he comes back, he he understands English, and he doesn't have an accent, which is so weird to me. I, it's just a weird nitpick for me. That, I thought that was kind of odd, but it's whatever. I didn't really care that much. But that that was pretty much it. But uh, there was some pacing in the movie that I didn't really like. Um, I don't really want to get into it, because I feel like if I talk about it, I'll get into spoilers. But... Yeah, there's some story elements that I didn't think quite worked, but that's pretty much it. But overall, I think it was a good time. Uh, some of the action sequences were pretty good. Uh, some of them I actually thought were pretty funny. Um, you'll you'll see in the movie. But overall, 
I thought it was a good time. I thought it was fine. Uh, for for this movie, I'll give it a B. All right, uh, that's that's my rating for it. But uh, yeah, and stay for the mid credit scene. I know most of you probably already know what the mid credit scene is, but if you somehow don't know, stay off the internet until you see the movie. That way you'll know. But it's kind of hard not to know who it is because Dwayne Johnson pretty much confirmed him confirmed it himself so it's kind of hard and I even got spoiled for it online unfortunately but yeah but the mid credit scene it's really good I can't wait to see where it goes and yeah uh, Black Adam was a good time uh, if you're into DC highly recommend checking it out and yeah hope you all enjoyed this review I'll see you guys next time